What is up, guys? Uh, Johnny Star here. Oh, well, hey there, huh? Johnny Star. How's it going? <laughs> about to make, you know, an announcement about, uh, I'll tell you the ma I will tell you the main reason why I use cheat codes during my retro games, also my So you're gonna try to justify your using your um cheat codes in a game. So it's like a stupid idea. Now the main reason like I use cheat codes because you know like back in the eighties and nineties, those games were super tough. Okay. No. Yeah, those games were challenging, but that was half the fun of it. Games yeah, were challenging. Yeah. Sure, some games are, um, some of the games from the 80s and 90s are hard, but there is, but you really don't need a, a game genie for it. All you have to do is practice. That's... That's yeah, all, that's the end, okay, we're gonna get more into that later, I hope you're prepared to like, respond to this and try to justify it the best you can, because I don't think you can justify it. You can't even beat them without cheats, you know, like, you see, for my most games, such as, you know... Wait, hold on, what, what did you say before? What did you say? Say that again, please. Yeah, say that again. You can't even beat them without cheats, you know, like... Bollocks! That is totally bullshit there. Can't play with Bollocks! Name... Name one video game you legitimately cannot complete without cheat codes besides Silver Surfer. Do you really have to use it? Do you play, like, a hard game without cheats? That is... That is totally noobish. Note that he didn't even give one example. You see, for my most games, such as, you know, spaceship games, or rare gym games, what what else? Um... What else games are there? Oh, sorry, my bad. Okay. I love how much trouble he's having coming up with an example. And besides that, for making long pauses and trying to think what you're trying to say, I suggest you edit out. This case, in case doesn't. Case that is a little ca issue here. That is kind of a good point, but make sure you have actual examples laid out before you actually record. Yeah. Because otherwise, you look like an airhead. This is why I record and edit, think ahead be before you decide to. Well, not only that, this is why I just try to think ahead before I record. And same to you. Exactly, and make sure you know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Or any other retro games, including, you know, the 2000 games, which is the... Yeah. Do you even know what that is? <laughs> Uh, really, Johnny? Do you even know what that game is? So I can't explain how that game is hard. Can you just elaborate why it's hard? Like, even the vaguest explanation would work. Something? That's the main reason I use cheat codes, you know. Yeah, I just got a couple of complaints from my previous videos once I do other... Retro games, but I I even tell I can't beat the game. The game is super hard. How am I supposed to beat the game? You practice beforehand. Yeah, yeah, you gotta practice before you decide to um make a playthrough slash let's plays. I mean, when I you know when I first play Zombies Ate My Neighbors, I don't need a game genie or type of cheat code or and why not? All I have to do is practice. And if someone needs to like, or, um, have more experience, and I like, you know, like you, I just ask for help. Like, you know, I, I ask 
you to help me if I have trouble or anything. And yeah, not, not just that, but most importantly, when people watch playthroughs, oftentimes they're using it as a walkthrough. They use it as okay. Um, how do I get past this? Uh, I'll look up a playthrough. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I, I see. Uh, you gotta do that. Okay, okay. Let me try this myself. Oh, boom, it worked. When people stumble upon your video, Johnny, and they say this kind of crap, how's that helping them in any way, shape, or form? You got to understand. When people watch playthroughs, they often use it as a walkthrough. Well, che yes. well, well, the game, well, cheats. Those games were hard in the 80s, and plus, the controls were, were hard, and... EXPLAIN HOW okay, THE CONTROLS so ARE DIFFICULT TO GRASP! I strongly disagree there by saying um, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, saying the controls are hard. Oh, hell no! The controls are so easy! You just need to learn how to practice, like I said, just... Learn and practice. Or learn how to play the game, or here's a foreign concept. Read the manual. Besides, the, really the, the fucking controls aren't difficult to figure out. Plus, I can't even beat it. No. Yeah, back in the 90s when I used to play uh, classic games, I was raging really bad because, you know, I couldn't beat the game. The game was super hard. That's why, you know, when I was a kid, I used cheats all the time. And you're you're 26 years old. You don't need a Game Genie anymore. Okay, as a, better. Hey, as a kid, I used Game Genies, but mostly it's like Infinite Lives and Infinite Continues, stuff like that. But, never once did I... I forgot to go and do, do not disturb. <laughs> I see that's the trend with me, it seems. Yeah. But yeah. I didn't even use a game genie for zombies and my neighbors, cause I knew I can get decently far on it. Yeah, and besides if I had trouble with the levels, all I had to do is just watch in their the walkthroughs, let's plays, whatever. And I passed it, and it's helpful. Until like 2000, until six, no, until seven, eight generations, they don't do those cheat codes no more because uh, because of achievements and trophies. And plus, they made the new games like from the 2000s and 2010s. They made the game more easier than 80s and 90s. 80s and 90s, they were super hard. That's why. No, they done away with the cheat codes because they knew people were were abusing them. That's Seriously. that's the thing. When you give someone too much power, they will abuse it. Exactly. And that's why they did it with cheat codes in the first place. That's why you gotta earn everything everything in the game. Yes. Yes. You really have to earn them. If you're using a game genie, you sure shit don't deserve things in the game. I'm sorry, but it's true. Oh, you don't like that I said that? Too bad. Yeah, too bad. Just you just need to learn how to listen, or advise, and accept criticism. Because you seem like you don't want to take criticism, and this is why we call you oh, out on it. And Johnny, before you try to say I'm triggered, don't give a shit. I couldn't. I couldn't put be any Genesis Super Nintendo games. Cause they're wow, you really suck if you can't do any. If you can't complete Sega Genesis games, because those are easy. Granted, a few are difficult, yes, I'll give you that, but a good portion of them? No! No. A and a good example of that were the Sonic the Hedgehog games. They're really, really hard. That's why I use cheat cost device. So if you don't like how I play doing my retro games or my other games, then I suggest don't watch my videos. I just do the videos for fun. Yeah, except for if your playthrough or as painful as your zombies and my neighbors one, then your videos have failed their purpose. I'm sorry, Johnny, but I'm sorry, Johnny, but 
it, but you pretty much failed and you missed the openables like the cabinets, the trash cans, even though you did like a hilarious one just by using a weed wax. Which is a waste. Here. But you don't. Yeah. Seriously. If you want to play zombies? Eight, learn how to play zombies. Eight, when never important is to grab the items and the weapons by some somewhere on the grounds or somewhere in the openables, like cabinets, trash. Yeah, and you want to use your weapons and stuff accordingly and sparingly. No, wait. You want to justify the use of the game genie, which is something I cannot condone. If you're gonna use. Game Genie or Game Shark or Action Replay or what have you device to do crazy shit in the game, that's all well and good. But if you're going to use it as a legitimate playthrough on YouTube, that's not cool. No way. Just to let you know that, that's the main reason why I use cheat codes a lot. Most of my retro games. Just to let you know, so don't take this too personally. Don't get really mad that I use cheat codes. I can, it, this is my YouTube channel, and I can do whatever game I want, and I can put cheat codes wherever I want, because I see some YouTubers use cheat codes to do a free playthrough. Name one. No, no, no. Name one. Name one. You're saying that YouTubers using cheat codes in the playthroughs a lot? Oh, no. Bollocks. I don't see a lot of, that was totally, that was bullshit there, Johnny, because not a lot of, because not all YouTubers using cheat codes doing their playthroughs. Because, like I said, it's new. Nobody uses cheat codes during a legitimate playthrough or a let's play. Unless you're willing to name one YouTuber that does that, at least. It seems like you're pulling this completely out of your ass. Which, oh, oh my god, that's... I'm gonna need to open a window now. And they don't get mad, but they get more views, but... I know I get less views because, you know, since my channel isn't getting that popular, but it will get popular too, like, one day. Anyway, if you watch this video, please understand that. I use Chico's... I just play... I just make videos for fun of retro games. If they're painful to watch, then, like I said... Like, I hate to repeat myself, but you know what? You're doing it, so I feel justified in doing so. Yeah, saying... Just... Uh, trying to justify... The use of the game genie. Oh, and let's not forget, you know, his response to our comments when we try to help him out and give as much criticism, like saying, "Oh, come on, it's not meant to take things so seriously. It's about having fun." And, Which is and then the other things is don't take things too personally. Whenever I made a mistake on, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna actually gonna, because you overreact. I'm gonna step in here and say. No, there's no point in going over the comments since he's saying it here in this video. Yeah, and what he said right here, he overreacts, and by saying that, he's butt hurt. And besides, that, that was also hypocrisy right there since when we try to help him out, he overreacts. And Yanni, not okay. you are turning, don't take it seriously as a blanket statement. You're using it to try to deflect the scent. You need to calm down, Johnny. We're just trying to help you. So I don't take, I don't take the game way too seriously. See, if I play about cheat codes, it would take me forever. You'll see me take forever to beat the stage, and you know, raging a lot. A, rage is funny. B, it doesn't take that much longer if you play the game properly. Exactly. I mean. We, people rage for frustrations. It's funny. However, when you don't even learn how to play the games properly, it's still painful to watch. Pick an example as to how. Sorry, but I got interrupted. But yeah, as I was gonna say, like for an example, like whenever I do my rant videos, it was um. I tend to rage, and I tend to really rage. Not only does it entertain my girlfriend Sam and possibly anyone who's else who watches, but it also gets my point across. Yeah, I rage too. Some in some of my own 
when I sometimes make rants here, and you know, cause of, you know the stupidity or the annoyance or or whatever. But yeah, it's entertaining, and you know, and like the throughout Zombies Ate My Neighbors, when I first played it, and when I missed some openables. I never taking it so seriously, and I accept criticism from you, and I appreciate it. You should do the same thing. I. Because, like I said, you're g because what? what like I said what you're doing right now, you're acting butt hurt. I'm not gonna mention the name because you know I'm trying to be n nice here. The only reason you're not gonna mention a name is because you can't name a YouTuber who uses cheat codes in a le legitimate playthrough. If that's not a statement you pull directly to the OS. You would have named a YouTuber who uses a cheating device for the play playthrough or Let's Play. So until you do that, I'm calling bollocks. Yeah, bollocks indeed. If you don't know what that means, Johnny, it's it's a British slang for bullshit. So yeah, for those who's watching this, are awesome. Please don't give me a nasty comment one time I use cheat codes, because, you know, I just want to do videos oh, for fun. Boo. What oh. qualifies as a nasty comment? What's a nasty comment to you? Since it's not really, since these type of comments that we, that we, um, left in your Zombies Ate My Neighbors playthrough, it's, it's not nasty comments at all, it's criticism. Learn to accept it. What I did in my comment was point out everything wrong in your video. If you can accept that, boo fucking who. And like I said, I'm just gonna say it again because you repeated your, you were repeating yourself a lot, so I'm gonna repeat myself a lot. If you say that you're gonna be triggered, that you're triggered, I don't give a shit. Hey, look in the vacuum of space. That's how many fucks I give. You're older than us, Johnny. You should've known better, like like I said. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time. Peace, and bye-bye. And that's how the video ends. Okay. So, yeah. Keep, yeah, remember this, so like, I gotta say this again. Johnny? Game Genie usage in legitimate playthroughs is not really justifiable thing. Absolutely not. And everyone else, um, expect us to do another video, but this time on Lazy Green. I've been request I've been requested uh, to do a video on Donald Trump, but I'm probably not gonna do that because I don't have a, a lot of political knowledge. Yeah. So I'm probably not gonna do a video on Donald Trump because of that. Yeah, we're not, we're not, both not political, so, yeah. That's it. Peace out, and last time, don't use a game genie for any replaythroughs. Practice a ton first before you even consider recording.